we just got back from a 50 mile overnight bike trip it was awesome on the delaware and lehigh okay, trail here we are fully packed in you guys ready for a bike packing adventure yeah. as you can see we fully loaded our minivan our toyota sienna we had uh the e-bike inside because that's super heavy and i don't have a rack for it yet then we had a regular bike rack for the mountain bike uh, my brother also brought his car with uh, two bikes, but uh, yeah, we could fit all the kids on the e-bike and uh, Sun Marie definitely, my wife, enjoyed the e-bike a lot more. We did 100 miles last year once we only had three kids. Uh, no trailer, but we did it on two bikes and, you know, dragged the kids along and that was all manually powered. So Sun Marie definitely uh, was loving this trip. And honestly, we all really love this trail, this DNL trail. You know, awesome sites like this. You see waterfalls, you see these canals, um, rafting. You're following this Lehigh River the whole way down. And it's an awesome river. I want to try rafting here someday. But uh, yeah, a lot of cool sites, a lot of lots of things to do and stop at. You'll see tunnels up ahead and things like that. So it's a really cool trail. I think the whole DNL is 165 miles long. The section we did was uh, 30 miles the first day from Whitehaven to Jim Thorpe. That was about 30 miles. And then we stayed in, um, I, think, I think, yeah, it was right around Jim Thorpe. And then we went from Jim Thorpe another 20 miles to Cementum. Uh, and that's where we ended the next day. The reason for the e-bike is it was so hard last time, um, you know, without the e-bike. And last time we were carrying camping gear. This time we didn't actually camp. We stayed in a motel overnight. Um, which actually was really nice because carrying uh, like five pairs of sleeping bags, camping mats, pillows, um, well, we didn't have pillows, but tents and stuff. That's a lot of weight. And, uh, you know, I felt like a mule most of the time. And this time was so much more enjoyable, just being free, really coasting and enjoying the ride. And I have to say this DNL trail, amazing. This fine gravel throughout the whole trail, no bumps, no potholes, um, just super smooth. The whole 50 mile journey we were on. And you know, we like never saw a car because it was all private trails or trail uh, rail trails. And you know, you never had to mess around with cars or anything like that. And it was all downhill. We went one way and we Ubered back uh, to the car drop off. Um, but yeah, we, we went one way and it's just following the Lehigh River down. So you're just going down, so super smooth. It made it really easy when my eldest, my seven year old was unhitched and riding on his own. He could keep up with us for, you know, not, not huge amounts of time, but for little amounts of time. Uh, there's my, my youngest daughter, my two year old, just getting potty trained. We brought her potty in the trailer. Um, yeah, so for the e-bike, you know, we really wanted to, to, to attach the trailer to it and just make our lives a lot easier with four kids now and especially the infant we wanted that trailer because his neck isn't strong enough to be up in the front mount all day long here's a cool uh, cave we ran into this used to be an old train tunnel and uh i don't know if you're necessarily supposed to walk through it but there was a bunch of people doing it so uh, we did it too it was a lot of fun going through the train tunnel and seeing the uh the river on the other side um yeah we had a lot of fun going through here there's some bats and some nesting birds too so that was kind of cool but yeah overall we love this uh bike bike trip um we couldn't recommend it more the delaware lehigh trail um and all, at least the section we did was we'll definitely be doing it again uh we all unanimously 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 voted that it was better than the empire state trail we did last year the 100 mile bike trip um, the kids said they liked the 100 mile bike trip more, but I think they liked it more just because we actually tented. Um, this time we didn't. Uh, but yeah, you'll see there's another way to do this trail without like getting an Uber or something. There's train shuttles, there's van shuttles. So this train that you see going by, you can actually bring your bikes on and it can take you, uh, take you one, take you up the, up the, up the river so that you can bike back. Um, yeah, but yeah, some great scenic views like you're seeing right now and just an awesome trail. Definitely could recommend it to anyone. I feel like even elderly, we saw a lot of elderly folks. A lot of them had e-bikes too, but I think elderly folks could do this because there's no hills. It's all downhill, a really gentle decline the whole way there. Um, it was hot when we went. So we did a lot of, uh, river swimming along on the Lehigh river. There's my brother. He's, uh, he's, uh, doing his lazy river thing. 
Here's my son's building uh, cairns. And here's my other son. We're changing his diaper on top of the uh, the bench seat on the rad wagon. Yeah, we fit all four kids at one point. Oh, here's a slide. I think they, they put like the rafts down it, but our kids were enjoying sliding down this thing. Um, this was right at Jim Thorpe. Um, yeah, so overall, we had a great time. It was a great adventure. Um, and we just took a Saturday and sun into Sunday and it was uh yeah it was a it was a great bike packing trip we could squeeze in before we head off to japan i don't know if everyone's aware but we're going to japan for one year so uh yeah subscribe if you want to see our updates in japan we're trying to bring all the bikes and continue our adventures there um yeah it's gonna be fun but yeah if you're looking for an easy kid friendly you know no cars uh, bike trail. I mean, I wouldn't really recommend this trail for a road bike necessarily because there wasn't very much paved. It was all this fine gravel. I think a road bike could possibly handle it. Um, but, I, you know, uh, my sister-in-law, she brought her her hybrid bike with 28 size tires. So I wouldn't go lower than a 28 road bike tire. Like 23 and 25, I think would be a little too much. Um, but yeah, for other, other regular bikes, mountain bikes, um, standard bikes, um, and yeah, even like the 28 size tire, I think you'd be fine because this is fine gravel all the way through. And yeah, I, I just recommend this, this trail for almost anyone. Um, you know, we had a good time. I think all the kids really loved it. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, the hardest thing about extended bike trips with young kids, you know, this time we had that eight month infant, um, is just i feel like nap times you know otherwise he loved you know being on the seat watching watching everything of the scenery go by just happy as a happy as a baby uh up there in his uh, front seat with us when he was in the trailer sometimes he got a little more fussy um but we'd feed him with snacks we had you know mango slices and uh you know, uh, granola bars and, and cliff bars and things like that so that would entertain the kids um yeah you can see different setups there's the follow me tandem um so we had the, the trailer, we had the follow me tandem, and then we had the e-bike with the bench seat in the back. It's the Rad Wagon 4 um, with the caboose and the, the seat pads. Um, so that's, that was our, our uh, equipment. And we just threw everything in the Burley B trailer that we had. Um, so that was kind of nice. You know, the, the, ki the kids could nap in there when they needed to, and we could uh, supply all our gear in there. Um, here's the end of our first day. We stopped at a restaurant. I have no idea what the, the kids are doing here, but the little one is copying the older one and they're doing some kind of hand jive. But uh, I thought it was very entertaining, whatever it was they were doing. Yeah, dinner was the first meal we actually stopped for. We had brought some snacks that we were snacking on. And then that night we drove up all to one motel and we're cheap, so we got one room for us uh, four adults and uh, five kiddos and managed somehow to pack all the bikes into the motel room with all of us humans in there as well. And here's the morning after, um, getting our continental breakfast for all of us and uh, yeah, just packing out, uh, getting everything ready. Um, yeah, and then some red light, green light in the hotel room before we, uh, we departed for day two journey. But uh, yeah, you can see um, two kids in the back there, the little one in the front. We did eventually put uh, all three kids in the back, so. That e-bike is pretty amazing. We can fit all four kids on there, no problem. We can fit two more back in the trailer. So really you could have like six passengers and the driver. So that's, you know, minivan status. I feel like seven humans on one bike. So it's pretty cool. And it's a joy to ride with the uh, assist. Uh, yeah, so there's Valen unhitched, my seven-year-old. He did he did um, maybe like 15% of the journey on his own. The rest of the time I attached him to the follow me tandem and he could uh, he could pedal uh, a little bit to kind of assist and uh, net neutral his weight load when he was attached to my bike. But uh, yeah, yeah, look at these views. Like, it was so amazing. Oh, this is the Lehigh um, Nature Center, I think it's called. And they showed us the bees that they had. And we had a good picnic there with uh, tuna and crackers and, and trail mix. And then we stopped in the river um, and swam around for like an hour, just cooling off because it was such a hot day. And after, after the swim, everyone was tired. My newborn was napping in the trailer. My other little two-year-old was trying to nap on the Yep Max Mini front, front mount that we have for her. You can see her on the, the little head pillow that uh, comes that you can get as an accessory. 
and my brother-in-law, my brother had the Wii ride and his two-year-old, or almost two-year-old, was napping on that one. Not napping yet, but eventually napped for a good solid hour on that thing. That's the Wii, Wii ride front mount. Um, love that thing. That was our original front trailer, but I am liking this new one better. Uh, just so easily it comes on and off, which is really nice. But uh, yeah, that was kind of the end of our journey. You know, we ended in Semington, um, where this this playground was, and we left the uh, the wives and our and our kids in their care for the two hour journey it took for us to, well, one hour to Uber back to the spot, and then one hour to drive back our cars to pick everyone up. But we got pizza, delivered on the uh, the rad wagon. Overall, awesome trip. Highly recommended. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe, comment if you liked the video, and I'll see you next time. Godspeed.